are here in front of the Chase building, in front of the Maccabee building. We're in front of the Chase building, which, uh, have you ever noticed that their symbol looks like a swastika? You ever notice that? But anyway, we're here where this gaggle of freedom has assembled, um, of, 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 the, of the Occupy 99% ilk. Um, some of them have very pleasant signs. You know, it's our time, Detroit. We are the 99%. I just saw one that says, uh, fuck the corporate police state. So, you know, there's a lot of, lot of different folks here, and I enjoy, everyone enjoys the, the diversity. <laughs> But anyway, the purpose of this of this gaggle of freedom that is assembled here is uh, Duncan Niederauer, the CEO of the New York Stock Exchange, is actually in that building right now. And you know, I looked up YouTube videos of him being interviewed, and uh, he doesn't seem like that much of an overt douchebag. Yeah, that's anything. he doesn't seem like that much of an overt douchebag. He just seems like uh, an enabler, a machine mind, one who thinks that the way things are is the way they should be, and that is inherently bullshit. So, you know, so here we are to make sure that whenever uh, such individual who would fall into the, uh, the percentile of, of 1% is in town making an appearance, we're there to send the general message of, fuck you, you know, which is, which is constructive, right? You can give me a thing, it's okay. This yeah. is the official newsletter of the Occupy Detroit student movement. If, if you were, if you were to, to say something to Mr. Duncan Niederauer in there, what would it be? I would tell him uh, to be very, very afraid uh, because people are waking up. But we're not going to hurt him. We're just going to, you know, I, uh, I, I love you just for existing, Mr. Niederauer, but uh, your, uh, your douchey ways, for lack of a better words, must stop. Well, apparently a man inside uh, by the name of Joe ha has been arrested and, and uh, tension is rising. I propose, I propose that we march in solidarity with Joe. That we march in solidarity with Joe. As well as those who were arrested and beaten in Oakland. We are the 99%. We are the 99%. So we are the Oh boy, silence. Silence, that means they're mad. That's the angry noise. Angry baseball. Let him go. 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 Hey man, you want to say this? I'm expressing my right to free assembly and free speech. Free assembly. I'm expressing my right to free protest That's right. and free speech. That's right. Yes. Just like President Obama and the United States government demanded of Egypt, yes. Asia, yes. Libya. Yes. Can you we leave? Are 99%. Can you leave? 99%. Show me what the police state looks like. This is what the police state looks like. Show me what the police state looks like. This is what the police state looks like. So, what just occurred uh, in the in the Chase building, was it? Maccabee building. Mac the Maccabee building. The story of, of Hanukkah involving the Man Maccabees. So, I'm, I'm already super intrigued. But what occurred? Uh, Joe McGuire and Susie did what, and what happened to them? Um, well, there was a CEO of the New York Stock Exchange invited here by the business school to tape a lecture on leaders on leadership. Um, as such, we felt that we needed to make our presence known, um, that what was going on in Wall Street is going on all over, and we're going to keep this fight rolling in the U.S., in Wall Street, and across the world. So a handful of us were able to get in and RSVP to the event to secure positions inside for the event. 
We met prior to, and since there were only four of us going in, we each prepared statements that we were going to stand up and read at various points throughout the lecture. Joe McGuire was the first person to stand up and speak his piece, at which point he was escorted out and they restarted the taping. About 10 minutes later, I'd gotten word from the NLG that Joe was in fact arrested for standing up and peacefully dissenting and not resisting removal from the taping. At which point, another person from this group of four, Susie, got up to speak as well. She continued to speak as she was being escorted out, at which point they escorted out myself and another gentleman, Frank, who was inside, having been identified as being with the other two. Um, and that's where things are as of right now. We're here outside the Wayne State Police Station to so show support for Joe and Susie. Um, to show support for him and stand in solidarity with him. They should not have been arrested. Because, yeah, they, they were just interrupting. It would have been like, it would have been just as easy to be like, ah, oh, could you not talk while Mr. Nita Rauer is talking? Can you please leave? But they uh, didn't resist. They didn't and resist. They left peacefully on their own two legs and in turn were arrested. So probably because of the fact they were flying under the flag as of Occupy as protesters is the reason they got arrested. If it would just be some person who was like, I don't like his tie, it would have been okay. It's like, please leave, can you leave? But because we're protesters, because there's a, a political you know, backing to what we're doing, uh, he is now in jail for this. And I Absolutely. They're getting nervous and it's starting to show. Not peaceful people arrest the CEOs. Not peaceful people arrest the CEOs. Not peaceful people. Hey, I say we all pick up. Pick him up. Let's pick him up and carry him. Gatorade all over him. Yeah, throw Gatorade all over You know, this movement is just a beginning right now. That's right. You know, we need way more people out here. We need way more people. If somebody like that comes to our school, we need a huge crowd outside to tell them that they're not welcome where we are. Then to remind everybody of who caused this financial crisis. It wasn't us. It wasn't the workers. It wasn't the people who were on the ground. It wasn't the people who suffered from it. It was people like Goldman Sachs and you know the New York Stock Exchange that caused it completely through irresponsibility, through corruption, through greed, and they suffered none of the consequences of it. In fact, they, were, they profited from it, and it's a crime that none of them are in jail. And that's all I have to say. Thank you all so much. Basically, I was just kind of curious of, you know, why somebody was there talking about leadership who, while a leader of the New York Stock Exchange and a former executive of Goldman Sachs, uh, an entire, one of the worst financial crises of history happened under his watch. So I was just curious, you know, <laughs> why, that, why that person would then be a scene of example of leadership. So I figured, you know, if he wasn't part of the problem, he probably wouldn't have had much trouble answering the question. Yeah. Yeah. When Detroit goes marching in, All together. When Detroit, when Detroit goes marching in, goes marching in.